Okay, so this is the template that comes with the kit. So you've got this little crease along the top of the wing that you've got to line that up with. Don't worry too much about these bits here, they don't line up with anything. But this area here should line up with the door. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look where the holes are going and I'm going to just put some tape in this general area here. Try and catch those holes. I reckon there's a film there. There's some down there. Again, well, it stops the uh, the drill wandering when you... Let's have a look. Oh, look, we're not doing too bad. we got just that one down there. Then. Right there. So, with that tape underneath, now's a good time. So position there. Does that look about right on that arch? That looks... Yeah, just about right. Not too bad, does he? then we need to get the pen. Okay, so here we go. I've got to stop saying okay. Right. Mark through where the holes are going to go. Same routine as we did on the other stuff. Give them a little centre punch so my drill doesn't wander. Right, now I've written on this template, S and B, but it's sort of side. So these two holes are big, and these three holes are smaller. So if we look at the snorkel, here we go, you will see that these two, now we've put the studs in already here, um, but they're M8, they're M8, and these are M6. Now, it's up to you how big you drill the holes. Obviously, the bigger you drill them, the easier it's going to be to, if they're a little bit off centre, you've got a bit more wiggle room. Um, but if you drill them too big, you'll just be there all day with a drill. So we're going we're gonna to drill some pilot drill holes, 3mm, and then I'll probably take all of them out to a 10mm. Okay, so I've drilled the pilot holes, 3mm, that, that drilled a lot easier than that 8 pillar we were doing earlier. Right. So we've got a 10mm drill, and a 10mm is most in, in drill kits, 10mm is the typical biggest size. So we'll try and see if we can get it done with a 10mm. Okay, so yeah, we'll do the other one. We've got another four, haven't we? So we'll do those all to 10mm, and we'll offer it up then and we'll see if We'll leave the tape good. on for the minute. This little rubber, what are we going to call this? Air inlet adapter, that sounds good. So, so we're replacing this. We've got a, a new one of these to go in. So let me just. It looks like it's stapled on the back of that one there. Okay. So that. And what we're going to do now is we're going to get the tube and show you the tube that goes alongside this inner wing um, up to the airbox. This is the elephant's trunk that we need to insert along this inner section. So what we need to do is remove the, the old one here, and then you can see the end of it here, there's a bit of plastic. If we push that end bit inside there, and then we should be able to extract it from this side. Let's have a go, shall we? We've not done Let's have a look, here we come. Now, you could ask why do you need a new one, because that one obviously gives some purpose, but it's to do with the way it fits onto the snorkel. We need a really nice fit onto the snorkel, so if you look at this one, here's our mess on the floor here, and then this new one's going to fit nice and snug over there with a clip, like so, so that there's no way for any air to get in all the way up to the airbox. So that's what we need to do next. Let's try and get this tube through. As far as I can work out, both ends of this are the same. If we just curl that round, and we'll start to put that in. And we'll just leave it there for the minute, because that brings us on to the next part of the exercise. Right, we need the next template, which I will get. Now this template is to go on the side here, now let me get this right, there's a hole, right, let me miss that way round, that way round, that way round, 
it goes like so. And what we're looking at here is we need to cut, this is the brutal bit really, this section out here. So again, I'm going to put some masking tape over this section, draw around it, and then we're going to get the air hacksaw out. So here we go, let's do this. Do this as we go. I can have enough cake. Should be should. Maybe one more. One more. Take that in place, or to be fair, I don't think it's that scientific. This one, we could hold that in place for the moment and just mark. mark around there. We'll get the air hacksaw out and start. We do taking this all the that. time, but we've got the air hacksaw out, and we're going to try and see how we do. It's a bit noisy. Sorry, Kate. Hold on. We really careful. So we've got a hole, let's have a look at the hole we've made, Kate. So it's not too pretty at the moment, but it didn't do too bad. We we went with the hacksaw to here, we then drilled a hole in the corner, went down round with the hacksaw, but notice there's this sort of inner area here. But that's basically the, uh, the way to do it. Um, we've got this little bit of grommet strip here, we'll put a length of this in with the kit. Um, and what you can do with that is put that on this edge, if I get it right. Right, there we go. And then that'll tidy that up. We had some of this in the workshop from another project, so we'll make good use of it and cut it into little bits and put it in the kit. I think it's just a bit long there and it is catching on that. Right, I'll, I'll trim this to length and get this, this put on and then we'll... There we go, we've got that in place. That's about 12 centimetres there. We'll supply that with the kit. At least now when you go in, because that's our next job, is we've got to go and fish that elephant's trunk out from in there. So let's come around this side. So here's the elephant's trunk. Now a little a little tip here is if you rotate it as you're putting it in, you sort of can induce it a bit more. Right now I'm going to hold that in and then I'm going to go in here but obviously be careful with the sharp edge and you should be able to get hold of. Oh I've got him. Yeah. Here he comes, I'm watching the sharp edge. Uh, there we go, oh, come on. Whee, look at that, you little beauty. Okay, so we, we did have to flatten down in here. Um, there's a little, what should we call it, a little bridge. bulkhead wall bridge panel there. Um, and you have to just flatten that down a bit just to get that pipe through. Yeah, it's a bit of butchery really, but it's not too bad. Then what we need to do is put the hose clip over Put it over at an angle where you can get to the. That's a bit big. Where you can get to the nut to tighten it up. Put that on. Like so. Right, and then this plastic piece here, so this is the adapter, needs to go on. So you've got to get that on there. Thread that inside there. I might have to just push that back in there a little bit now, and then we'll squidge that in. Okay, so with a bit of wiggling, you can get that that onto there and get the hose clip into position and tighten that up. And then hopefully then we can we've got enough clearance to push that all the way back in there. Okay. And so we've got that all in, in place. It is a bit of a squidge there, um, but now at least we've got a passage there. And if we come back around the other side, we can pull, pull the other end back through. And then what we'll do, we're in a position then to take this tape off and offer okay, up the so snorkel. So it's time to fit the studs now. So they've got a little hex head at one end. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of thread lock on them. And then when we thread it in, and this will stop them vibrating loose. Okay, so we need two different Allen keys because these big ones have got a bigger head. And then I'm just going to nip those up like 
until we until they bottom out. Okay, I'm going to do get all five of those thread locked up, and then we'll do the final. What you need to do now, before you do anything else, you need to check that this fits and lines up. So I suggest you start with the bottom hole down there, and then make sure all the holes line up. Okay, and when you're happy with that, which we've done that, oh, he's, he's going to fight me to come out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit of silicon. You've got the tube. We're going to supply it with the kit. I'm going to put a bit of silicon around here. Now we don't need to form a seal. We only need to form the seal with the O-ring, uh, sorry, with the elephant's trunk when it goes on here and the hose clamp. So none of this worries. We're not going to suck in. But what I'm worried about is the... Um... Okay, so we've got those siliconed up. We've got those locked tighted in. We're all ready to go. Now I'm going to need about five hands here, I reckon, but we'll have a go. I've got to try and get that bit on there without scratching the paint. Where's Sarah when we need her? She's gone back over the other side. So no, she's gone to the loo. She's gone to the loo. Uh, oh, there we go. We're all right. We didn't need her anyway. Right then. Here we go. Hold on. <laughs> oh, oh. We're supposed to be looking professional, Kate. We can't be laughing. Right, here we go. So obviously, yeah, the key to getting this is we've got an airtight passage so that when we're wading through water, it doesn't suck any water in. So that's the key to all of this. Okay. So when you're happy with that, which we are, right, we're now ready. So, right, we're going to start with that bottom back one, okay? You can see that from where you are. Yeah, just. Just. It's going to be a bit tighter than it was. Now we've got that clamp ring on. Oh, well, look. Am I in? Yeah, we're in. That's it. Right, and then... Down a bit. Down a bit. Yeah, it's just tight. A little bit tight with that rubber ring on. That's it. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, we'll leave the wing down there for the minute because we've got to get in the back and we'll just connect the top so we've got the screws all lined up here. Let's try and get them in by hand first. Into those little brass inserts. Go on, in you go. That's it. Right. Don't do any of them too tight until you've got them, got them all in or you'll scupper yourself. Okay, so those 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter. There you, go, there you go. You can see that pulling in now. Well, we had a quick check, and these were all stainless. These fittings, we think, didn't we? They weren't attracted to our magnetic pot holder, were they? No. Okay, right. It's starting to take shape now. That's solid, and obviously, check the the door clears that there. That's all pretty good design. That's all sitting on there. We can't even see the slot or anything on the age pillar now. So, um, now we need to get underneath the wheel arch. We're going to pop the wheel arch liner out. We'll, and then we need to get up behind and tighten up the, or put the nuts on the back of those studs. To get this wheel arch liner out of the way to get up behind it. So they got these plastic clips in. I've just done that a little bit with a screwdriver. Hopefully I can get in behind. That's it. Well, that's gone easy. Right, and then if you... <laughs> I think we've seen these before in some other videos, but if this is the first one you've watched, I'll show you. So they're basically a two-part thing. You've got the centre pin, and as you push the centre pin in, he says, what it does is it splays that out. It's like a plastic rivet. Um, so as long as you pull the pin out a bit, you can normally get the middle out. So how many of these? I've got a few of these to do. Now I'm going to try to not take it all out, just, just do a little bit of it. Okay. Get enough to get behind it. Right, I'll get on and do these. I'll show you them then in a minute. Oh, there we go, there's another one. He's all, he's all going good. And then I'll, I'll try taking about, there's one there, one there. Have we got any more at the bottom here? Let's have a look how, because I only need to get my hand up behind here, don't I? I don't need to, yeah, what, I can, what I can do is, in fact, let's have that arch off as well, shall we? Let's have a look how much mud's behind here, Keith. Lots. Lots. Probably. So 
going to reach up behind the wheel arch now. Um, I haven't taken it all out. I've just got enough to get my hand up in between. Remember that these two studs here are the bigger 13mm um, spanner head M8 um, Neulock nut and washer. So I'm going to venture into the unknown in behind here. And let's have a go. Ooh. Okay, yeah, that's okay. Get that on. Alright, I'll start doing that one up. So I've got a 13mm ratchet spanner. So let's have a look. Yeah, that's going the right way. Do that right. So now I've sort of proved the concept of this. I'll get now. I've got. Uh, let, let's do. Let's do the air. Trust. So the air's coming in here. Oh, we haven't shown this, have we, Kate? So one thing we've got to do is mount the top snorkel. We won't show that live, but in the kit you've got a uh, a black. The black hose clip is colour coded, obviously, and that goes on there. Uh, there's some debate about which way you should point your snorkel. You get some ram air effect here, but some people say you get a lot of dust and water spray and that the serious off-roaders point it backwards. But that's, a, that's an ongoing debate that I'm not going to get drawn into. Right, so the air comes down through the tube and comes out to this, the end of the elbow we fitted here. Now in the kit we've got this um, gasket and what we really need to do now is achieve an airtight seal between this elbow and this face on the air box. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean and wipe. So we need to add those to the kits, Kate. Mm -hmm. yep. Clean and wipe. And we're just going to clean the area around here just to make sure we've got rid of any of the manufacturing residues. And then we're going to stick on, what well, have I done with that gasket? I've lost it. There it is. Yep. Goodness me. All right. So I'll peel off the back in and we're going to stick that on. Okay. Go on. Right. Hold on, here comes Sarah. No swearing, Sarah, we're on video. Right then. That's going to stick on there. Like so. Okay. So, now, depending whether you're really going to use Sirius Off Road, you're going to have to put some gasket round some silicon round here to make sure you get an airtight seal between these two surfaces. Okay, and the other thing that I'm a little unsure about, let me just put that up there, is that on the airbox that there is actually a drain hole here and this sort of drain, if I just pull that back, you can see that is a drain, sort of flappy, valvey thing there. So I think if you're gonna seriously off-road, you're gonna need to block this up and this up also. Um, but we will leave that part of the final waterproof into your own decision there. Okay, we're just going to go with the gasket for now, which will stop most of it. So we, we're going to push this back so that the airbox sits in these little rubber bits here. So, get that into there. Let's check if I've got lined up. Okay, so you can see that this is pretty squidged up here, um, and for all but very deep wading, that will be sufficient. Okay, and then we just got to put the air box, the rather dirty air filter back in. Okay, there are no fixing screws on there. Excuse me. Put the connector back on. The go we've got to reconnect don't forget to reconnect the connector here on the mass airflow sensor there we go that's that clipped on right. then you've just got to tighten up the the screws here and tighten tighten up the thing there we'll finish that off and then we'll just come back and give you a demo of the finished product so here we go final show so we've got it all back on connectors oh, where's my finger up? right there you go yeah we've got the airflow connector we've tightened up the hose clip here um, one thing to say in the kit you'll have a couple of extra rivets three extra rivets that you could rivet the the bracket plate onto the wing but I can't see the value in that because it's only ever going to push tighter onto the air filter the way it is um, but but that's supplied in the kit um, let's close that down now and there we go there's the finished snorkel 
we've got it pointing forwards there um, we fitted the clip at the top um, good luck with that we'll put a link in below so that you can go to our website if you choose it to buy it from us but I think you'll find most of these safari style snorkels are the same